guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've done a video, but here I am, guys. Welcome back. My name is Gregory. Today, we're going to be going over some Brawl Stars balance changes. Now, it's been a while, guys. We've been waiting for these. They're finally here, guys. <laughs> So right now, I am in the Daily Brawler, and it says release notes August 11, 2017, which happens to be the day I'm recording this video. So what's new? We're back to brawling, and we've got some great balance changes coming your way, matchmaking changes. So the first part of this video, we're going to go over these matchmaking uh, changes. So duplicates of the same brawlers on the same team will very rarely occur in matchmaking. No players will... Players in low trophy games will still encounter duplicates. So basically what this means is like, you know those games where it's like, there's like two Brocks on one team, or there's two Shellys, or there's like three Pipers, just where there's like a ton of people on one team. It's just like, hey look, my team is all Jessies, or hey look, they have, I don't want to say two Crows, because that's, that's pretty rare, but like, hey, they have two, I don't know, like some common that's, like two Nitas or something like that. That's not going to happen that much anymore, especially in higher level gameplay. It's It seems like they're saying the lower level gameplay will have, it's still going to happen basically. So improvements to matchmaking balance. So I think that means like the trophies, like they're going to match you up better to like people within your level of trophies. So now we're moving on to uh, character balance. Ricochet health increased to 600 from 500. Now, I personally, I honestly don't really know about this one just because I honestly, th I honestly thought Ricochet was fine how he was. Like maybe 550 health, maybe that would be okay. But 600 might be pushing it just a little bit. But I mean, this is Supercell. They know what they're doing. They have the data. I don't have it. So I'm just gonna say okay to this one. So moving on to the next one, guys. We have El Primo health increased to 1,400 from 1,300. Now, I actually like this one, like on a scale of one to 10, I'm probably at eight on this one. The reason is, is because obviously ever since they nerfed El Primo and his range, no one's been using him. And I think the reason is, is because you just can't seem to hit people. Now, the reason people tend to use Bull over El Primo is because not only does Bull have like basically the same health, but because he pr pretty much does more damage. I mean, doesn't technically, but I mean, well, that kind of, it really depends on the situation. But he, he has more range, and El Primo just struggles with that. So I think El Primo, with the health increase, that kind of separates him with from Bull, because I think Bull has 1,200. And now El Primo is like an official beefy, beefy tank. So now I think El Primo is going to be more viable to use. So now Brock, now guys, I really like this one. Super shoots a total of 9 rockets from 6 faster and also has a bigger area of effect. Now the the, the, the 9 from 6 is not a big change. I mean, it is a big change, but I don't really think it's going to affect that much. But what I think is really going to make him better is because the, the faster part. Because what seems to happen with Brock special is you use it. And then it, they maybe get hit by one or two rockets, and then by the time the special's finishing up, you know, raining down the rockets, they're running away, and you know, they're already out of the situation. So I think the faster is gonna just, you know, it's gonna make it a lot easier for Brock's rockets to hit them. So moving on to Mortis, oh shoot, I just accidentally went to clan chat. Mortis uh, decreased health to 700 from 800. I'm I'm really in agreement with this one with Supercell. I just I, I don't have Mortis, so I don't know myself. But I definitely face him quite a bit, and he just has too much health for being like a sly, kind of swift character that's constantly being shifty and, you know, moving around the map with that dash ability and the high movement speed. So I do really like this uh, health decrease, because, I mean, he's a vampire. I don't think he should have that much health. 800 is pretty tanky, to be honest. So I think 700 was a good choice. Okay, so now this next one, guys, oh, very skeptical on this one. Poco decreased main attack damage to 140 from 160. I personally do not think this was necessary. I know some people think Poco was just the slightest bit overpowered. I don't really, I, I'm not saying he's underpowered, but, or uh, underrated, but I just, I've never really been a big fan of him. I don't know why, like, the healing just doesn't appeal to me. It's not really that cool. But I think what they should do to him... See, I I've suggested this to my friends already. They actually like the idea. What they could do is they could lower his main attack to 100, which is like a huge nerf. Except they make it so he also heals 20. 
So like if they're if you're attacking someone with Poco, you would do damage. But if it's your own teammate, then you would heal 20, which is not that much, but that would add like a like a cool attribute to him. And that would make him more of the healer that he's supposed to be. So that's just my opinion on him. I I'm not really like a pro at this game or anything, but like that's just me. So moving on to the next character balance, we got Jesse. This is probably like I honestly well let me read it first. So supercharges. 12.5% slower. Not a huge change, but it definitely has some effect. Now, personally, I think Jesse, when they nerfed her damage, I was like, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I think they should have gave her a buff. She's just not, like, she's okay in some game modes, like smash and grab, but like, in general, she's just not that good of a character, to be honest. And then just making her worse? Like, I, I thought she was a cool concept. That's why I use her still. But she's just not that good of a character. So to make her super worse just makes me want to like... I'm not so sure if I want to use her anymore. So now moving on to this one. Nita supercharges 25% slower. I'm... I'm I, I don't want to say I'm in full disagreement on this one. But I'm slightly disagreeing with Supercell on this. But then again, like I said, they have the data. I don't. This is just my opinion. Now, here's the reason I think they're doing this. As you guys know, the bear spamming tactic is really annoying with Nita. You know, if she gets too many shots off constantly, she's going to charge up that super really fast. And she's just going to chuck down bears like there's no tomorrow. And there's just going to be bears all over the map. I mean, obviously, when you throw one down, the other goes away. But it's just constantly bears are always... There's like an endless cycle. So I, I do think 25% is a bit high. I think maybe 12.5 would have been a bit better. But I also think Nita might need a buff somewhere else. I mean, she's still a good character, but a buff, or sorry, a nerf, that strong, not so sure about that. So guys, this is where it gets interesting. So the game modes. So in Heist, this actually, I, I completely, honestly, like completely agree with this one. Heist, decreased health of all safes by 1,000. Now guys, as you know, when Brawl Stars first came out, offense was a piece of cake, guys. I'm talking easy peasy lemon squeezy, guys. So like literally if you want offense it was like a piece of cake and then the balancing changes kicked in and then offense was like almost literally just like impossible to do I would always win on defense I like when I first played defense for the first time I was like wow this is super easy and then I started realizing wait a minute does the safe have or the safe has less health right I think it does and I did so I checked I'm like oh yeah sure enough so I think this is a good idea because like offense is just it's just so hard now defense is so much easier So I think this this is definitely gonna balance out the game modes. I hope it doesn't make offense too easy like it used to be though So this next one guys. Oh my god, like The hype right now about this one. I don't know about this one. So let me talk about it showdown power up box damage boost increased to 15% up from 5%. This should benefit high range, low health brawlers, and even the playing field. So guys, going back to when the brawlers were getting their buffs and nerfs, did you guys see Shelly or Piper in there? Because I did not. Let me go check one more time. I do not see no Shelly, no Piper. Now, let me say that again. No Shelly, no Piper. I, I don't know if you guys heard that. No Shelly, no Piper. Okay, that's getting annoying. But guys, what? What? And then here's what makes me even more just like, I'm not going to say enraged or anything. I'm not mad at these bounds. I mean, I kind of am to be honest, but like, I'm not going to like punch my iPad in the face because of this. I punch super, no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so like benefits, what is it? Benefit high range. Shelly, high range. Piper, high range. You guys see what I'm seeing right now? They are already overpowered, especially, especially Shelly, because as you guys know, Shelly is, if not strongest, if or second strongest, if not the strongest character. I don't, I don't really know. Bull, Shelly, they're all like within the top spot of Showdown right now. But I mean, as you guys know, they're super strong right now. Like especially Shelly, Shelly and Bull, Shelly and Bull. Like Bull doesn't have as much range, but Shelly, guys, Shelly, Shelly, Shelly. If you're gonna increase her range, like benefits high range. Like what are you guys thinking? If if Supercell's gonna do this. They need to at least nerf Shelly. And the same with Piper. I know Piper's not the best option for Showdown. But like, high range guys. Benefit high range. Piper has one of the best ranges in the game. I'm not I'm not really sure who has the best. But she's definitely up there. So, 
That's my opinion on that. And this is honestly going to get insane. Like, 5% to 15%. Like, guys, that might not seem like a lot. I mean, it might seem like a decent amount. But that's actually a lot. Because that's per energy. Like, that's... And then energy adds up, right? So, economy changes. Guys, this gets a little interesting, to be honest. These aren't huge changes, if I'm honest with you guys. But it, it's definitely a change, obviously. Because, I mean, it has changes in the word. So, we want to make it easier and quicker to earn coins in short sessions. So, we have increased the first win coin bonus. The total coins earned still remains the same. So, basically, what this means is you're still going to earn the same amount of coins for every game mode. But the first game you win, you know how when you're earning coins, it'll be like... Uh, duplicate coin bonus, uh, win bonus, first win bonus, that first win bonus, I think it's gonna double, triple, so 1.5, something like that. We'll read it right here. So, first win bonus and showdown, new event coin distribution. So, distribution, sorry. So, they're gonna change it here. So, event one, guys, this is just event one. I think there's, I believe there's four. Don't quote me on that, but I believe there's four. Let me just check real quick. Yeah, okay, so first win bonus changed from 6 to 18, sorry, 8, I can't even get my numbers right, 8 to 16, so doubles, and normal coins earned changed from 60, or from 60 to 52. So basically what this is saying is you're going to get 8 more coins from your first win. So you're like, oh, great, more coins. But then you see from 60 to 52, so you're losing 8 coins. So like they said above, you're still getting the same amount of coins but it's just distributed differently. Like, your first win, you're gonna get more, but as you, you know, as you win more games or lose more, as you, basically as you get more coins in the long run, you're not gonna be getting the most, or you're not, you're not gonna be getting as much as you used to. So, it's kinda hard to explain, but I think you guys should understand that. So, event two, first win bonus changed from six, what am I even, I looked at the six, I don't even know guys, eight to 16, and normal win, normal coins earn changed Earn change. Yeah, okay. I was like, am I messing up again? From 40 to 32. So basically, what this is, it's just like the other one, guys. I, I kind of messed up my numbers again, but basically, you're going to get eight more coins your first win, and you're going to lose eight coins in the long run. So, in a way, that just balances out to zero coins lost and zero coins gained. So, like, if this is this is the beginning, and then this is the end of how many coins you get in that event. You're going to start with a big jump, and then you're slowly going to go like that. So that's kind of how it's going to be. If that, I hope that reference made sense. It was a little confusing. But uh, moving on to event three, guys. It's pretty much the same stuff here. First win bonus changed from four to eight. Now, that just means four uh, more coins for your win bonus. And normal coins changed from 16 to 12. Same thing, except now we're just dealing with four coins. So, you know, you're going to start with four extra coins for your first, first win. And as you your games you know go on and you start winning and losing whatever you're you're gonna you instead of maxing out at 16 you're gonna max out at 12 if that makes sense. So now event four is where it gets I believe it's a little interesting. First win bonus changed from four to eight, so nothing really special there compared to a, uh, event three. And normal coins earned changed from 20 to 16. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. So nothing new there. Basically, I believe it's pretty much it's pretty much the same thing as event three, just a little different. So, showdown new event changed from 8 to 12. Now, that's definitely kind of interesting right there. They're basically just changing the overall coins there. So, that's going to be it for uh, the events, guys. And let's let's just do a quick recap of today's video, the balancing changes. So, I do want to know what your guys' opinions are down below on these balance changes. Are you guys with me on the Piper Shelly thing? If not, be sure to tell me down below. If you are, we'll, we'll create a hashtag. If you guys agree with me, say... Hashtag where the Shelly and Piper nerf at because I am wondering I'm searching far and wide guys Where's that nerf? I don't see it anywhere in the forums But I mean if you guys enjoyed this video like I know these were not the best balancing changes A lot of people are unhappy with these some people might like them if you guys like these balancing changes Be sure to tell me in the comment sections below and um, also before I do end this video I just wanted to give a quick thank you to um, all the people that have been watching my channel subscribe to all that good stuff because I believe it was yesterday we hit 10,000 views, just literally like an hour ago, YouTube emailed me and they said like, your channel has officially been confirmed, like I got an email from like the YouTube team themselves, and they said like, you're now allowed to monetize your videos, so as of today, guys, if you're wondering, I just made 3 cents 
in the past hour off of YouTube. So I'm now get make, basically making money off of my YouTube videos. So I just wanted to like get that out there. I think that's pretty cool. I just want to know you guys' opinions on that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Haven't done a video in a while, but I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Anyways, I just wanted to, you know, get get that get that off my mind because I wanted to share that with you guys. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.